I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Slide this center portion out of the chuck if I can without causing too much havoc. Ah, uh, there's little springs in there. That is why you always do this over a box. Because stuff comes out and you really want to hang on to it. The chuck jaws have some tiny little pins in them. It looks like they might be damaged. I'll take these springs out very carefully over the top of the box. Ah, they're stuck in there. I don't want to yank on them. One just fell right out. We don't know the reason behind it falling. Dental tools come in handy. All those things that your hygienist uses to scrape the tartar off your teeth. Do the same thing for these little pieces in this chuck. Unfortunately, that sound is horrifying. At least it's not inside my head. Not so you'd notice anyways.
lots of fussing and fiddling. But if you want it done right, you gotta do it. This is 400 grit carborundum paper for any of you who are interested. The last of these little devils. This one has a little pin right there. Chuck jaw goes in like this. Ah, that's how it works. That little pin is to keep the chuck jaw from coming out. It makes it so that it won't come back out of that hole. So I should really come up with a way to put another pin in each one of these jaws because these guys are missing a pin. That means they can come out of that jaw. It makes it so that as this thing retracts, this can extend out. Don't want that. Wonder what I can use for a little tiny pin. It will fit in that hole. First thing I need to do is find out what size that pin is. That may be a bit of a chore. I'm not really happy. Not really happy with this camera tri tripod. The Manfredo comes highly recommended, but it has this problem where it doesn't grip well. It is slightly bigger than the biggest. tip cleaning drill I have which is 0.039 well, how do you like that that little brad nail is just about perfect I need to clip off the head. And leave just enough so that I can rivet that over. Doesn't take much. All it's got to be is long enough so that it won't flop out of that chuck. And there we go. Can't work its way out. Now that jaw is going to stay right where it's supposed to be. Good.
Slide that into there. And bring it over here. And peen over the end of the pin. Holding something that small, my fingers get tired. Holding this over my little basin here in case I drop something. I'm going to insert the spring. There's that. Then I put that pin back in place and I slide these into position. Well, that's got everything held together. While I got it apart, I'm going to put some oil in there. Those missing pins were making the chuck not work as well. Now it opens and closes much easier than what it did. And I can spin this onto the chuck. and the chuck jaws actually open up. I won't have to fish the drill bit around in there to, to get it to seat. That's much better. That's locked down. Got the jaws clean. Let's see how we do on drilling a hole. See how it does in this piece of pine. goes right through. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.